close game two, and then my now you have now you have severe burn marks and and a loss, <laughs> and a loss there. Yeah, it's worth it. That's just the fob life. It's dangerous. We're starting. I think. Uh, okay. Oh, who? How about Zardov? How did Zardov? Zardov must have got. Zardov lost to Killer. Um, for nine. Except for nine, yeah. And who did you lose to in winners? I didn't see. Arch Archie? I think it must have been Archie. Could have been. It's pretty savage. Starting out. Oh! He saves him just to, just to show him what's up. Saves him again? No, he does not show him what's up. <laughs> <laughs> saves him twice. And then and then gets killed. Yeah, what a legend. What a nice guy. Pikachu's just like, oh yeah, like I've got the kill twice. <laughs> But because I, I I love gimping people, I just want to keep it going. <laughs> just want to test how clutch I am. He'd keep doing it for eight minutes if he could. <laughs> Even if he guarantees it off the first one. I mean, oh look, it's such a such an advantage already, honestly. Yeah. Oof. Just only fifty percent and almost taken. Almost so taken two stars. Raph must be going on a bit of a tear here, right? Because I think Raph, I think Raph's done it from losers. So who did he lose to? Probably Max. Maybe Max, yeah. It's so hard to seed rap at the moment. You he, just show up and do this. He's so good. He's really good. I'm always... I'm all, yeah. I'm pretty sad he didn't come to... Uh, I'm sad you didn't come as well, but like... Um, to, to Gommel. Yeah, it would have been a would have been a good time, but... Would have loved to see how everyone did. Yeah. I mean, I don't I don't think it would have been that crazy for me, but... Yeah, Raph, Raph could have done, could have done a lot. It's a, it's about the bracket you get. That yeah, we, we've we've all I think we've all agreed and realised that you have to make upsets, but like like Archie and Tino had some fucking rough brackets. Yeah. Uh, for 65th, like so rough. How do you do? I got 65th, baby. <laughs> because Tino, that's why here. Yeah. yeah, that's so why. <laughs> yeah. I was good as Tino and Archie. Um, no, I did g I did really good. I was very happy with how I did. Um, I didn't like. The people I lost to were like really good, uh, and the people I beat were like I was seeded to lose to at least one of them, and they nice. were both, well, sorry, more than two people, but like they're pretty good. Oh, yeah. I was like very much like uh, mentally trying to win. <laughs> yes, because that was my main goal, like mental stuff. Anyway, oh, two down smashes. That this is a tech okay. chase. Which you can't really miss. No, not at this position. Although, like, Omi totally has a shot here of cleaning up. Yeah. If he gets this stop, like... <laughs> He's getting some crazy thunder damage. The game is... Yeah, that's... <sighs> he could have up it. He had it. I think he must have missed his input. Versus Fox, like, having those... Oh, So he called that, but... Missed the, missed the, missed the execution again. Yeah. And that's tough. Missing missing two big, big openings. Oh, my lord. That's some weird box stuff. <laughs> but he hits. Yeah. So Omi... 100% got a chance here. Yeah, back throw, back throw a ledge. Back throw a ledge. Or just... Oh! He has the eye down into the shield. Ew. Don't go near that Pikachu. It's Ew. so clear what he wants when he's in the corner. Okay. Lines him up here, that's really smart. Yeah, he tried to get him with that first up air and sort of whiffed, but the second one cleaned second up. Second one will do. Woo! Maybe he's thinking, hmm, could have had that. Ready? Yeah. But... It's interesting watching Omi play play neutral versus Fox. Um, oh. I was going to talk about his dash dance game, but he just kind of uh, sidled towards him there with, you know, hopeful options. And yeah. It worked out kind of well. It's just nothing. Yeah, you don't have any forward facing options that really beat any of Fox's hitboxes. No, but um, maybe the forward air can do some stuff against some things. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think Omi tries it though. Uh, but, no. the, but the up air, the, the back facing up air beats everything. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Beat what beats an air, beats a drill. It doesn't beat air, uh, trades up smash probably. But yeah. Um, yeah, it's really good. It beats grab, you know. The up air just is amazing, right? Yeah. Oh. They're really hard to play against, obviously, if you're in the oh. air. Oh, it's a big gimp. Oh, down smash. It wasn't intentional. Surely not. Oh my lord. But still in the lead. I'm pretty sure what happened there was like the, uh, what's the word? You know when you're uh, you're in the air and then you get hit with like a spike move and you don't get you get to the ground first. Yeah. Land, like, yeah, land cancel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's I feel like that's what super happened just then because he got like, I think he jumped into that up air and then just immediately was ready to up smash it. Like. 
I mean, he gets it, even with the uh, the dash grab, which I think 23 might be able to jump out of. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Fox run away, runs away so fast. He does. It's brutal. It's so hard to chase down. And like, Pikachu's chase down is like... How do I explain this? Like, when Fox is running away, they, obviously, Fox is slightly faster. If Pikachu calls it and runs early, like the options aren't that good unless unless the uh, like he's kind of got to do a chasing there, which is probably gonna like yeah loses to basically everything loses to back air loses to just, just like crouch yeah. up tilt lose to crouch like it's, you can just see it and when you're if you're running at fox Oops. the only thing that you can really beat him doing is uh, is shielding <laughs> yeah <laughs> which he doesn't have to do oh, obviously until he runs out of space but. Um, you have to bait out. You have to bait out an option and punish that, which is the only way you can chase it down. Which is suddenly, you know, another another level you have to play, which the fox isn't having to play. For sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, you have to play it with you in in that situation, but not on his approaches. You're super right uh, about the way he's been playing with the up airs in neutral. Omi's just been like almost using it like a puff bear. He's just like approaching him like up air, up air, up air. Yeah, it's your, it's your <laughs> best, yeah, it's the best combo starter apart from grab. Um, and it's your best hitbox. It's, uh, yeah. I mean, massive combo starter, but then... Oh! Oh, oh my god, he made that <laughs> so much more difficult than it needs to be. Oh. Ah. Was looking tough anyway for Raph, though. It was. I was just thinking, like, um, that he... What I was saying before about the ledge dash situation, I was going to praise Raph for like doing the refresh, not just going straight for a ledge dash, but right. he's, he has to do it anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, the, the refresh is dangerous. I mean, yeah, it's it's hard to do invincibly, and Pikachu very easily down tilts you out of it, forward tilts you out of it, um, and you just die. You die, guaranteed, basically, which is never a nice. Nope. Oh, no, not bad. Still, look at these up airs. So basically, solely, maybe, maybe over centralize them a little bit. I feel like Raph is good enough that if you're doing the same thing over and over, he's gonna call it. Yeah, yeah, I, I think he is good enough to do that <laughs> because uh, I have done the same thing over and over in my dark moments and just called it. And got, got called out. Yup. Movement's clean, not there. Yeah, it's not the approach. He just, he just runs back. Oof. All that required to be. Fox dashing back as Pikachu is not real, that realistic. No, it's not. The um, up B that Omi did there, either it was an error or like, I feel like that was just a full panic because he didn't need to do that. Yeah. Like Pikachu, I feel like, uh, especially the way Omi's and like Axe style of playing, mm. just like, oh, I feel like I've always got to be going, like yeah. going forward or like, or like, I'm off stage, better get back on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, whereas like, Got to remember, Pikachu is like a floaty. Like, yeah. Sometimes, and even you got that full time. Yeah, exactly. A lot of characters, you can just like wait and like drift. Just not. You don't even have. You don't have to shoot your shot. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like even the spaces, I, I think you can just. If you have the right, like, if you arch your jump, and then you're like fade back and like wait, and then yeah. you can just kind of drift a ledge. And it's all okay. Like. Yeah, I mean, you, you, the acceleration, you know, obviously they fall fast when they fast fall, but gravity doesn't work that quickly yeah. in this game. Exactly. And, uh, I feel like Captain Falcon's like the number one example of that, just because he's sort of like a slow fast faller. Like, he can proper hover if he really wants to. Ooh, Omi's keeping it close, though. Yeah, I'm impressed and al almost quite surprised. I mean, I feel like Omi is when he's playing his best. Getting a lot of those tech chases, getting, getting those openings. He's, mm -hmm. I don't think he's feeling the, the confidence today. He's, he's kind of reading on a lot of these techs when, it's, when they're happening and uh, and not getting them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when that's happening, you're having to have, have increase the number of openings you need against the fox. Really makes the it makes things a lot harder. Yeah. I mean, like I, I agree with you. Uh, I will I will counter that a, a, a Pikachu privilege. Slightly is that oh well, Raph's fishing. Got to be careful. Next one of those is getting grabbed. Um, oof. Um, yeah, a Pikachu privilege is sometimes you can, you can just snag your kills. Like as a Gimp Master, like he's got an early kill move, and that can just like keep you in the game. And like sometimes, like, especially like, mentally, if, if, if you're not you're not playing so hot, you're missing your tech chases, and then like 
you're just being brought slowly back into the game by yep. like those clutch moments. I'm going to call them clutch because it's <laughs> nice. I don't think they're actually. I, I think I would call, I would use a different word. Let's put it that way. Um, it can really help you like mentally like get where you need to be. Yeah, and I think that that sort of thing you kind of think about how well each of them are playing. That sort of that, that especially applies when they're both playing maybe not so well. Yeah, you get a lot of those. And then again, when they're both playing really, when they're both playing well, then it sort of picks you, a lot of his op options open up into punish games, tech chases, a lot of that. When yeah. they're both playing okay, it looks Ooh, this it, could be a. I don't think. Yeah, he's not. He's not hitting these tech chases, and now no. he's got to win neutral again. Yeah, Raf, um, Raf actually had the game just then. Uh, I guess he was fishing for a grab, which is why he went for a grab. But he reacted to the. Uh, he reacted to the well. He waited and reacted to the down smash. Got a grab, but that was an up smash. Confirm. Mm, yeah, true. Like it's the same, fr same, same frame. frame start up or whatever. So, but then again, if it's a confirmation, you know what I mean. Like you're like, I'm gonna wait for him to do something, then I'm gonna run up grab. Yeah, that's like. You of know, course, you and if if you're slow on the up smash, it matters. If you're slow on the grab, you beat the shield anyway. Exactly. So. That 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 is a great point. Yeah. Um. Super nice to have that like extra time. So Omi's down two one. Two one. Um, Going to the classic uh, secondary counter pick stage. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand in the slightest uh, why it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Small stage, so back throw pretty much from anywhere. Yeah. Throws you off, which is really nice, really important. Mm -hmm. um, platform heights mess up Fox a lot more than they do uh, Pikachu. Oof. Oof. Um, and you not as not dying off the top like Yoshi is quite as early, oh, but savage. I'm still dying off the top nonetheless. <laughs> still dying off the top. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. So you think it's got the right balance of like slightly floaty friendly, like you said, small, it's small, um, and the platform pretty much benefits Pikachu. Yeah, more, more, more so. It still okay. can mess him up, mess Pikachu up a little bit, but I think Fox has, has more problems with that. Yeah. I think uh, Omi needs to change things up quite soon because he's spammed a lot of smash attacks. Uh, and there's there's sort of like a, I want to call it like a theory of like a, how do I say this? When a good player is playing well, they might spam something like twice. Yeah. The third time, they, they should be doing something different. So like, if you're the other player, if you're Raph, you probably want to read something different on the third time. But... If you want to metagame it, the level that we're playing at, yeah. um, Omid might just spam it again. Yeah. You called the same thing because of he's been spamming it over and over. Like Raf should be catching. Yeah. Like on the third one, Raf should be ready for it. it. Does that make sense? Like there's like a rhythm. Uh, <laughs> this looks very suspicious. Um, there's like a rhythm to uh, to how people like remember stuff. You know. Like, yeah. With threes especially. Raph's kind of eating him for breakfast this game. Yeah. Oh, I mean, there's, there's the next question of, is Omid even, is Omid even doing it? Is Omid even registering that? <gasps> he's doing the same things. Registering that he's doing the, the smashes. Yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, to be fair, he's getting four stocked. I don't think he's done that many more smash attacks since then. No. So I, I want to give him the benefit on that one. Oof. He gets the stock. But it's something, it's something I've noticed a few times this set. It's got him a, a few things. But then, like, oh, this has to count. This has to count big. So he wasn't ready to call the spot dodge. Uh, he sort of, like, lost his confidence and did, like, a half read. I feel like when you're in do or die mode, you can't really get the, like, two-piece over. Oh! Uh, I respect going for it. But I think it's it's a game of stage advantage. It's looking like on this stage. Obviously, Fod, smaller, less room to dash back. Mm -hmm. But... If Omi's always cornered, 23 has plenty of storm to dash back still. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. That's it. It's just me. Raph looking really nice. Uh, yeah, it looking really good. And He's now? It's got that, I feel like when foxes are like really scary and really good, it's just where they're hitting just like so many up smashes. Yeah. They just like know when to throw it. Because um, that just seemed... And the pressure never lets up. It doesn't have to no. let up. And yeah. whenever you think you have advantage, most of the time you don't. <laughs> most of the time you still don't. With, well, I mean, with a cat type Pikachu, at least. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, really yeah. True. Pikachu's advantage is like so fleeting. Yeah. Like it's like if Pikachu doesn't get the.